shame on you and you'll answer for it. Just a few weeks before Christmas, Toys for Tots organizers say a man posed as a volunteer and stole boxes of items donated for children in Gaston County. Those items were collected during an event at Camelot Meadows near Belmont. Organizers hope people who live nearby can help find that thief. Our Gaston County reporter Ken Lemon spoke to organizers and Ken, they have an idea of how they might catch the person. Yeah, there is only one way in and out of Camelot Meadows, and that's on this gravel road where I'm standing right now. So those organizers, they hope that people who live along Armstrong Road here may have security cameras that capture that truck with those boxes of toys in the back. The operators of this wedding venue that goes for thousands donated the space Sunday night, and organizers volunteered their time for what was a wonderful event. We had a great turnout. We had... A uh, tremendous amount of toys uh, donated. Andrew Miller said the attendees gave expensive gifts, not the traditional toys. Now they're all gone. And Miller, a former Marine himself, is dumbfounded. I can't even imagine what goes through someone's head to, to steal from children, to impersonate a uh, Marine Corps. An actual volunteer from the Marine Corps was supposed to pick up the four boxes of toys Tuesday, but he got swamped. At about 9.30 the next morning, a man in a pickup truck and a T-shirt with the word Marines on it, showed up. And said that they were from Toys for Tots and they came to pick up the toys and just took them. When Gwen Perkins heard what happened, she knew something was wrong because it's her husband's job to pick up those toys. Those toys never made it here to the place where they, along with others, are to be distributed to as many as 6,000 needy children in Gaston County. Most of the children that we service, um, this will be the only items they get for Christmas. Things she told like me that. this kind of thing has happened um, in other places, but never in Gaston County. I don't think a real Marine would do that. Shame on you and you'll answer for it someday. I, I wouldn't want that on, on my shoulders. Now, organizers believe that whoever took those may have uh, learned about the event from social media postings. They hope this only encourages people to give this was supposed to be their inaugural toy drive, Scott. All right, Ken, we'll hope that they can find out who did it. Thank you.